Welcome everyone, uh, my name is Jacob and today we are at the React Native EU 2023 on site in Wrocław. Awesome. And here today with me, I have my beautiful guest. Uh, if you could please introduce yourself. Absolutely. So hi everyone, my name is Nicola Curti. I work as an Android engineer in the React Native team at Meta and I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, he's the guy. Um, so I would love to introduce our viewers into your talk. So if you could just briefly tell us, what was it about? It had a really catchy name. Absolutely. So the talk was called The Day I Broke React Native. And, and yeah, as you can imagine, the talk was a lot of storytelling about that fateful day, November 2022, when we started releasing a new version of React Native that I ended up having a ripple effect on every developer out there. So people on Android were not able to build their apps anymore. And, uh, and yeah, it was like, I called it as a ticking bomb that was waiting to explode because we had this sort of um, configurations in our ecosystem that was waiting for the right condition to just create an incident. And that actually what what's what's happened over, over the day. And from, from what Nicola told me, it was uh, a lot of commitment to, to get was, that fixed. It was. But it, it is all for good of our great community. Absolutely. So I appreciate that. And from, from our community, I think, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> for you know, for like, doing this. We care so much about our user and our community as a whole. Then we realized that this was a major problem and we went releasing patch releases for React Native down to React Native 63, which was so old at that time. And we were able to cover like 99% of the user out there because we really care about this ecosystem. So that showed like our commitment mm -hmm. to this framework. And that's great because from my experience, I know that there are projects that are still running like React totally. 63. Totally, so, totally. I mean, you need to take care of these as well. I would like to ask you, uh, why do you think this topic matters, the, the thing that you were talking about, why do you think it matters in the community? Uh, so obviously this talk was not like a technical talk, like what's new in React Native 73, which my colleague did actually just before me. Uh, but I wanted to give this one because this is really like a lot of personal perspective. Mm -hmm. Like uh, sometimes you perceive engineers at Meta as like, I don't know, superstar, like living far away, but we actually are humans, we do mistakes. And I wanted to tell the story of like, what I learned out of it, what we learned as a community out of it. So it really has a personal touch that a lot of previous talks I gave don't have. So I really invite you everyone to take a look. Yeah, and I think personally, this is a great, great approach because as you said, some people might perceive you and other guys from Meta or big, big players uh, as these inhuman people who are just coding 24 seven, not doing any mistakes. Yeah. Like guys, we all do mistakes. It's fine to do mistakes and just, you need to fix them, right? Totally, <laughs> That's the totally. case. What would be one key takeaway for people who listen to that to take back home? Uh, I would say don't release on Friday. Uh, you need to watch. You need to watch the talk. Actually, yeah, like we ended up doing a release on Friday, and in our case, we got lucky because we had a disruption over the weekend, and uh, it allowed us engineers at Meta to work over the weekend to fix the problem, so that on Monday, when the entire globe will start developing React Native apps, they would have already have like a patch with a fix out. If that would have happened on Monday instead we would have created like such a huge disruption for the ecosystem. So we got lucky, but don't release on Friday. That's my takeaway. <laughs> don't do that. We need t-shirts with that. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Um, so skipping away from your talk, uh, what is your impression of this year's edition of the React Native EU? I really like this conference. I think like I come here for so much community vibe. Like literally you get um, so many open source maintainers and like library authors over here. I get, I get so much energized from those conference. The, the venue is amazing. Yeah. Uh, there is like an outside area with like ice cream. I love ice cream. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, really thumbs up for this year's event. It, it, it's, it's great. And uh, as a user of what this great community creates, it's so cool to actually meet you guys in person. So awesome. awesome. One sentence that you could use to describe this year's edition. Uh, oh, whoa, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I will say uh, stunning. Stunning. It's a word, stunning. Because that, that's the feeling I had when I entered this stage. It's like stunning. It's like a huge cinema. The, the stage is awesome. So, so yeah, I got, I got really impressed. I was here last year. Uh, it was such a smaller setup. It was like a hybrid event. 
or really cool, like more like, like you get the family vibe, but this year, like we had so many people here, like the stage is awesome. The, the venue is great. Really, really impressed. Did you get the feeling of a rock star for a little while when you got on the stage? Uh, like, <laughs> I have to mention, I was like still a little bit anxious All right. <laughs> on my talk. And I, I've been doing a lot of talks in the past, but whenever you do those first steps on stage and you start presenting, uh, I always have that anxiety building up. That's okay. We're all humans. Yeah. Okay. One last thing. If you could share just one message to people who are thinking about joining this conference next year, what would that be? I think you should not think twice and come over in Bratislav is an amazing city. The conference is great. Like we folks from Meta uh, try to come over to those kind of huge events every time because we want to get in touch with the community. So if you want to get the opportunity to speak with the maintainers of React Native, make sure you come over. Like we are around. We really want to hear your experience, hear how you use React Native, what's working, what's not working, how we can make it better. So don't, don't miss this opportunity, absolutely. And we got great ice cream, so <laughs> totally. Thank you very much, Nicola. Awesome. If you liked what you've just heard, check out more of the conference content. Follow us on social media, subscribe to our newsletter, and see you at React Native EU 2024.